How's it going everyone? Welcome to Double Pebble and today we are going to be reviewing one of the most popular player in FO4 be it Thailand, Korea, any server that you go, I'm sure he's going to be very popular Root Hulet. So he is like out of my era, I've not seen him play in real life but almost every single team in FO4 has him alright so we'll look at his stats now and see why so many people are using him okay so if you look at his stats right crazy good okay first we focus on this hexagonal diagram huh? almost every single thing is there except defending is a little bit missing but don't be fooled alright now he's got good stamina 92 dribbling and ball control are good as well tackling is not that good 79 his short passing is good, finishing is okay, 85. Long passing is good, 90. Although since the update, high true has been nerfed, so long passing is not that useful anymore. Long shot is also very good, 88. Interception not that good. Positioning is good, vision is good, reaction is good, sprint and acceleration. These two are quite important in this game. 88 sprint, 86 acceleration is pretty good for a midfielder. And he's got good shot power to him as well. Volley is there. Okay, his crossing is okay. Almost everything is there. Lah, huh? Free kick is there. Short curve. Agility is okay. Balance is okay. His heading is also very good. 90 with the power header trait. And then he's got very good strength as well. Aggression is okay. Composure is high. This is important for strikers or midfielders if they want to score or not make mistakes under pressure. And his jump is okay. He's also very tall. This one we know. 191. 88 kg, small build, and he's got no weak foot. 5-5, five, five, 4 star skill move. Work rate is high mid, which is pretty good. Basically means that he's more of an offensive player. And in terms of traits, he's got the speed dribbler. Playmaker, this one is more for manager mode, I think. And he's got the power header, like I mentioned. Okay, price-wise, he's quite expensive. This one we know. Lah. He is currently about 16 million, highest is 19 million, but there is a reason why he is so expensive. He is simply one of the best players in the game. So now we go to the in-game analysis and I'll highlight what are the most impressive aspects of Bullet. Okay, in terms of his strength, right, there's a lot to talk about because he is simply all-rounded. First thing we want to talk about is his literal strength. Gula is physically really strong with 88 strength and it is not common to see him getting knocked off the ball. The only time that I get people dispossessing my Gula is when he is pushed by another Gula or someone strong like Vieira or Petit. Other than that, he is super super strong. He's also got a good pace to him with 88 sprint and 86 acceleration which I think makes him one of the fastest central midfielders in the game. He is also much faster than Petit. And the first two points right, his pace and his strength right, basically means that when Gula is at full speed, no one can get the ball off him right, especially from behind. He is able to hold the defender away and continue running forward okay now he's got a great long shot to him as well i'm sure everyone who watches this video has seen or has been a victim of gullet's long shot and it sucks but when he's on your side do use his long shots do abuse it because even after the update the gameplay update long shots are still very good and gullet does score a lot of long shots for me even after the update He's also very tall. Now, this is important for midfielders because of their long legs like Vieira, okay? Don't be fooled by his low tackling stats. Although he's more of an offensive player, he is able to put in a shift defensively. He can tackle, he can win the ball back, plus with his long legs, right, he can really wrap his leg around the player and get the ball back one. So defensively, I'm pretty impressed with Kula. He's not the most defensive one. Okay, most of the time, he is attacking but when he is required to defend he can defend and he's got the physical stats to do well defensively Gula is also well known in FO3 to be able to play in any position now this is the same in FO4 as well if you go back to FIFA at Dick Red and look at his overall he can play across all offensive position one and the highest overall position is actually striker and in terms of striker he performs more like a target man rather than the one that like to run in behind he likes to play back against the defender, pull up the ball and then put in a true ball for on-rushing attackers. 
but his unique combination of high speed, relatively speaking high speed, good power, good technique makes him a nightmare to defend against. I'm sure many of you has come out against Gullet and you don't know what to do against him. If he's in a striker position, sometimes once he gets the ball, it's so hard to get the ball off him. And if he's in the midfielder and he's sprinting around at full speed, it's so hard to get the ball off him. Now he's also got good dribbling and ball control as well. In midfield that is very important. Defensively you don't want to be losing ball unnecessarily from poor ball control. This one you will experience it from time to time with low ball control players like Manolas in defense, that kind of thing. In midfield, very important to keep the ball. Gullet is very good in this aspect. In terms of dribbling as well, although the sprint dribbling is no longer that effective after the gameplay update, it, is, it still works from time to time. And Gullet can dribble very well with the ball, especially with his speed dribbling trait. Last thing of course is his weak foot. He's got no weak foot which means that he is dangerous across the pitch. Left side, right side, central. He is able to shoot with both feet. Weakness. There is actually no weakness in terms of how he performed in game. Because we know Gullet can do anything. I've never seen him play in real life but the game Gullet is just too hard. I remember he did mention in some interview as well that the game him is so good, he don't remember he himself being so good, something like that. There's a reason almost every team in FO4 has Gullet, so please use him because he's just that good. Although there's no weakness to him gameplay wise, there is still one small little weakness to him and that is his FP requirement. If you are thinking about playing ranking, his FP is actually 20 which is the highest apart from icons. Meaning that he is going to take out a lot of cap space in your team. But this is like the only little minor weakness for NHD Gullet. Overall, he's definitely 10-10, okay? No weakness whatsoever other than the FP thing. Regardless of whether you play him in any position, CM, Cam, Striker, Center Forwards, Wingers, he can play them, all of them. And he is bound to perform because of the fact that he is that all-rounded. Extremely dangerous offensively, pretty good defensively, not the best but... He does a job defensively and he is tall as well which gives him an added advantage in the air. In fact, I always aim for him when I have a corner. Is he worth it? Currently is 16 million at Thai server, one of the most expensive player in NHD version. Eh? I think he's like the top 5 most expensive NHD players. Makes sense because he's that good. One of the staples of every team. There is simply no reason why you shouldn't be using Gullet because he is the perfect player almost every single team has him and if you can find a reason why you don't want to use bullet in your team let me know in the comment section below he's the perfect player but if you can get the tt1 do get him very very expensive almost 100 million if not the nhd version is fine get him to plus 3 and you are good to go right and that is all i have for this fo4 review video hope you guys enjoy give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy my fo4 review and of course Hit the subscribe button for more FIFA Online 4 content. Do check out our Facebook and Discord as well. The links are all in the description box. And I'll see you next time.